Welcome to the 700 Club. After a long debate, the Boy Scouts of America have changed their admissions policy. While openly gay troop leaders are still banned, homosexual boys are now allowed to become scouts. Dale Hurd has more on the reaction from churches and other conservative groups. Supporters are celebrating after the Boy Scouts of America decided Thursday to lift their ban on allowing openly gay scouts. This is what we've been working for. It's, it's a small step in the right direction, but it's huge in another way. We want every kid to have a place where they belong to learn and grow and feel protected. But some on the left felt the scouts didn't go far enough because they're keeping their ban on adult gays. Still, letting gay boys be scouts could turn into a major problem for an organization with a motto calling on young men to be morally straight. Faith groups sponsor 70% of units nationwide and many like the Catholic Church and Southern Baptist say they will not give up core beliefs to stay with the scouts. Conservative activist John Stemberger says the loss of such church groups could devastate the organization. I think you'd see a mass exodus, not only of major denominations, but just of common sense parents saying, you know what, we can't trust scouting anymore. There's not that moral consistency throughout the program. I've heard several boys say, I'm done. And they'll be within a year of getting their eagle. And getting your eagle is a very, very difficult thing to do. I think that that sexual discussion needs to be at home with the parents. The change will go into effect next year. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, the Boy Scouts are literally in a no-win situation. Gay activists have been protesting their use of public parks, national parks, on the basis that they discriminate. And at the same time, if they do open the doors, uh, how, will, how will they handle that mass exodus? Well, the, I don't think the story's over with this decision. We're going to be seeing more. Well, a memorial service will be held in Oklahoma Sunday to honor the victims of Monday's deadly tornado. Reporter John Jessup has that story. It's become a familiar scene. A helping hand finds something of value and puts it aside for the owner. In this case, it's a family Bible. This is Southwest 14th Street and more, and everywhere you turn to my left and to my right, you see houses that are completely leveled to the ground. And on the property, you can't help but see artifacts that people once lived here. I mean, you see VHS tapes, DVDs, a dishwasher on top of a bathtub. Over here, kitchen utensils, all signs that this was a place that was once full of life but is no longer inhabitable. You said, I'm blessed, I've, I've got help, you know, not everybody has that. High school classmates help Suzanne Sells, now a high school special education teacher, sift through her belongings. But the find for which she's most grateful is her daughter Claire, who was in Plaza Towers Elementary. The tornado cut a direct path through her school, killing several students. They just they piled the kids up, like on top of each other. A last minute decision to move Claire and her classmates from a hallway into a bathroom saved their lives. Claire's mom got to thank her teacher on her last day of school. I just gave her a big hug. I was like, thank you for not keeping them in the hall because that would have collapsed on them. So, I'm very thankful. Kids are eager to say goodbye to the school year and a rough week as they look forward to a summer vacation making happier memories. I want to swim. <laughs> We're going to swim. Yeah. Lots. And, um, what are your big summer plans? Um, probably going to the country. Going to the country? What are you going to do in the country? Ride the forest. Oh, that sounds like fun. Governor Mary Fallon tells CBN News coordinating the response has been difficult. The EF5 tornado damaged 13,000 homes and affected tens of thousands more people. She says it's important to leave the victims with this reminder. Things will get better. And through much prayer and much support, we're going to get over this. We're not going to go under it. We're going to go over it. Helping to spread that message are volunteers like Lariat, who's delivering meals with Operation Blessing. He believes since he escaped unharmed, it's the least he can do. Maybe there are other things that we could be doing, but this is what we're called to do. This is what Christ has called us to do. John Jessup, CBN News, Moore, Oklahoma. If you want to help with the disaster relief and the recovery efforts in Moore, Oklahoma, all you have to do is join the 700 Club. Be part of it. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. And if you want to volunteer, there's a place on the homepage of ob.org uh, where you can volunteer your services to help those in need. Give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. We'll be right back with more of the 700 Club after this. 
Get Gordon Robertson's Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer and discover a deeper relationship with God, what it means to overcome evil, how to pray in the power of the kingdom, and the life-changing purpose God has for you. As a special bonus, you'll see a tour of some of Israel's most important sites and learn the amazing discoveries that are being uncovered today. Release the power of God's kingdom in your life. Get Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, available now. For a farmer, either drought or hail can mean crop failure. Jennifer Poehler's farm experienced both in the same summer, but she still managed to turn a profit, and here's how she did it. When Jennifer Poehler inherited the family farm, it came with an 80-year history of abundance. There'd never been a crop failure, either when it was too wet or a drought. And I remember hearing the story repeated over and over. But during an especially severe drought in 2012, farm manager Dave Nice called with bad news. Unless we got a rain right before the pollination, uh, we were gonna have some pretty devastating results. And I was shocked. 80 years, it's never, never been a crop failure. How, how could this be? Dear Lord. So Jennifer prayed and the clouds opened. It was hailing and that's a farmer's worst nightmare. I mean, if it's drought and hail, obviously there's not gonna be a profit after the hail. There'll be nothing, I'll be lucky to break even. She prayed again. Saying, oh Lord, please help me, help my land. Any profit you give, I will give it all to 700 Club. And I did spell it out specifically, 700 Club. The farmland was a few hours from home. So for months, Jennifer had no idea how the crop was doing. When Dave finally called, she braced herself for the worst. You had a successful crop. And I'm like, say that again. <laughs> I don't believe this. At that point, I knew I was going to be able to write a big check to CBN. It turned out the hailstorm stopped about five miles short of Jennifer's farm. And even though it barely sprinkled that spring and summer, they harvested a bumper crop of corn. It's remarkable. It's a miracle. When Dave sent the check in December, it's over $20,000. Just days before Jennifer wrote the check, a piece of medical equipment broke down at a CBN clinic in Ukraine. Jennifer's donation more than covered the cost of replacing it with a better piece of equipment. So I wrote Jennifer a letter of thanks. Dear Jennifer, you have thrilled the hearts of our team at the Kiev Medical Clinic. Your gift will touch the lives of thousands of poor children and families who are treated there free of charge. A major need was filled in Ukraine from a crop failure that didn't happen. <laughs> Today, she's passing on stories about the family farm to her grandchildren. Now I can say it and mean it for 80 years, the crop has never failed. That says that God is good in the good weather and the bad weather. The Bible is very clear that we are to give God our first fruits. Even when money's tight, the first check is to the kingdom. Small or big, God can multiply. He is God our provider. And I am eager to write the first check to Him to say thank you. Here's the Bible verse that Jennifer was quoting. It's from Proverbs. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. And that literally came true for Jennifer because what was supposed to be a crop failure turned into a bumper crop that was able to supply a very present need in a medical clinic in the Ukraine. All because she said, I'm going to honor God with the first fruits. That will happen to you if you do the same thing. Just make a decision. With the first fruits, I'm going to honor him. Then it will come to pass for you. Well, in one month, Marsha Bradley went from being unemployed to working a temp job and then finally to a full-time job with a promotion. And it all started with just one phone call. The small town of Cannon, Georgia was hit hard by the recession. Jobs were difficult to find. Marsha Bradley and her husband, Eddie, were both out of work. In what could have been a depressing time, they were encouraged by watching the 700 Club every morning. We just, just watched how God was really blessing 
not on the ministry, but how he was uh, blessing other people through other people giving to those that, that don't have anything. It was during the telethon, and we both just looked at each other, and it's just like our spirits connected. She said, what you want me to do? And I looked at her, and I said, call him. I said, give. We need to give. I don't know how we can do it. I don't know how we can manage it, but we got to. Eddie and Marcia didn't have much money, but they gave what they could, $5. Soon after, Marcia applied for a temporary job at an egg farm. To her surprise, she was hired the next day. And I know that the Lord opened that door for me. And I just, every day that I would go in, I would just thank God for giving me this job. You know, just being obedient to Him and giving back to Him, He gives back. They increased their pledge to the 700 Club level. Within a month, Marcia was given a permanent position. And soon after that, was promoted to quality control. I knew God had His favor on me through my obedience to Him. And it just encouraged me to, to just want to just continue to just do, do my part because God had already been doing his part. After her promotion, they increased their giving again to the 700 Club Gold level at $40 a month. We don't have a whole lot, but I don't have a need of anything. I just thank God that I am allowed to, to help someone else. Eddie and Marcia say they feel good about being part of CBN. We watched all the work and um, the outreach that the 700 Club does. You know, it just touched our hearts tremendously. I love it. I want to be more part of it. It uh, overwhelms my heart. It really does. It's just 65 cents a day. I mean, we can find that much on the ground or in our couch if we dug deep enough, you know? Just give it a chance, see what happens. See what it does to your heart. Here's a promise from the Bible. Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. And that's exactly what happened to Eddie and Marsha, where they said, we're going to consider the poor. And even though it wasn't much uh, from a world standpoint, in God's eyes, it was significant. They, they took a step to give. Even from their lack, they wanted to help the poor. And so God considered them in their time of trouble, gave Marsha favor in her job interview. And within a month, she goes from being unemployed to a temp job, to a permanent job, to a promotion, all because they had the favor of God on their lives. Now, if I can get a drum roll, I've got some great news. Some existing CBN partners, just like Eddie and Marcia, say we love giving, and we love a living a life of cheerful giving, generous giving, and so they want to challenge you dollar for dollar. That means they'll match your gift dollar for dollar up to $50,000, and we get a half an hour on the clock. Lord, we ask for multiplication over this, and we also ask for blessings for those who are watching right now, that you would just reach out and bless them and re relieve them of all worry and anxiety over their finances and over their future. Let your peace be multiplied to them, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, a $50,000 challenge. That means existing partners like giving, and so they want to challenge you to give to the 700 Club and join in everything we're doing around the world. We're a lot more than just a TV show. We're reaching out with hands of love and compassion to the victims of the tornadoes in Texas and Oklahoma. We're reaching out around the world, providing free cleft palate surgeries. We're drilling water wells. We're preaching the gospel around the world where we're training local Christians how to do Christian television, uh, in, not in English, but in their own language, showing testimonies of what Jesus is doing in their country, where in their part of the world, not some far away place. And it's all made possible because people just like you care enough to join, care enough to give. So if that's you, if you want to be a part of it, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. We're asking you to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you say, I can join at a higher level. We've got 700 Club Gold for you, which is $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. 2,500 club, 2,500 a year, and founders, $5,000 or more a year. At whatever level, God is speaking to you to give. Now's the time to do it because we've got a $50,000 challenge and your gift gets automatically doubled. So call us now, 1-800-759-0700.
Terry? Well, I have another great reason for you to call right now. When you join the 700 Club, we want to give you this brand new DVD called Our Father. In it, you're going to learn about history's most powerful prayer and how you can use it to change your life. He healed the sick, walked on water, and rebuked the storm. Jesus performed miracles that changed the world, and he shared the secret to that power with you and me. Gordon Robertson, in his latest DVD, Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, takes you on a journey from King David's palace to the Sea of Galilee, revealing the mystery and the meaning of the greatest prayer of all time. You'll discover a deeper relationship with God, what it means to overcome evil, how to pray in the power of the kingdom, and the life-changing purpose God has for you. As a special bonus, you'll see a tour of some of Israel's most important sites and learn the amazing discoveries that are being uncovered today. Learn how to pray the way Jesus prayed and release the power of God's kingdom in your life. Get Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, available now. Well, most of us are familiar with the Lord's Prayer. If you're like me, you've probably prayed it thousands of times in your own life. I have to say that before watching this, I loved the prayer because Jesus told us it was how we should pray, but I didn't understand all of the power that was within it. And we want you to have that. As Gordon teaches our Father keys to the Lord's Prayer, this is yours when you join the 700 Club. So if you call right now, you'll have the privilege of knowing you're helping people who are in need, giving people hope, and you'll also get a wonderful teaching that I think will touch and change your life. So call our toll-free number. It's 1-800-759-0700. Or you can join us by logging on to CBN.com. Gordon? Well, for many couples, the first year of marriage can be a bit of a challenge. That was especially true for Jerry and Paula. They spent the first three months of their marriage homeless. Jerry and Paula Simon own a successful general contracting business in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's a new adventure every day. You never know what's going to happen and what kind of jobs are going to come your way. But several years ago, things weren't so great. Jerry's life spiraled into depression after the death of his baby and a breakup with his girlfriend. His successful painting business ended up in bankruptcy. I just started losing business rapidly. I, I couldn't concentrate on what I was doing. I didn't care if people were calling for new business or, or, or the quality of my work. Everything that I did just dissipated into pretty much nothing. I was just in a, in a void zone. Paula had her own set of problems. After a painful divorce, she was taking care of three small children with no way to provide for them. I didn't have any job skills. It was hard for me to get a job, and the jobs I could get uh, didn't pay enough. And slowly I went in, well, not real slow, I guess. I went into depression. The couple shared something else, too. They were both broke and homeless, but Jerry made Paula a promise. I wanted her to stay with me, but I didn't have much to offer. So I promised her that if she did, that I would get her kids and I all together in one house and that they would grow up in a normal family, mother and father, two-parent household. And uh, just something happened that day, and I knew in my heart that this was a special man for me. Soon after they married, Paula's dad gave them a gift of $2,000 to restart the painting business. They rededicated their lives to God and also started to tithe. And my wife really showed me the importance of tithing. And the more I tithe, the more I got back. And it was, it's just, it's an amazing principle. The word says to give with a grateful heart and don't give begrudgingly. Two years after opening, their company grew into a full-service painting and general contracting business. It didn't take me long to go from where it was just me and a helper out painting a house to where I had other guys out doing repairs. Within a decade, the Simons were doing $600,000 worth of business a year. I increased my ties, and we've never had a down year. Every year has been up since the day we started in business, including this one. It was just amazing, especially at that time because the economy was probably at its worst here. The more we made, the more we tithed, and the more we gave back. You wanna go to work? Come on. There you go. The more Jerry gives, the more his business profits grow. Last year, Jerry employed 40 employees and had a fleet of 13 vans. 
and he did nearly $2 million worth of business. When people ask me how we're doing so well in business, what is it? Well, it's God. It's, it's surely not me, it's God. The secret of my success is tithing and giving back, trust in God, and move forward and follow the right principles, follow God's principles, and you can get to any position you want in your life from wherever you're at. Jerry speaks from experience. Here Jerry and Paula are homeless, but Paula convinces him that tithing is the way out. And they start a business, they get a loan from relatives, they start a business and they say, we're gonna tithe on everything we get. And you see the result. Here's the promise, it's from Psalms. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, you will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperities will be yours. Thus is the man blessed, who fears the Lord. And that fear, the word fear in the Hebrew is, is more reverential awe, that you're in awe of what God can do. And so you reverence him. And Jerry and Paula say, we're going to do that. We're going to reverence God with our tithes, with our offerings. And God responded and you saw the result. That can happen to you if you just take him at his word. So do that now. Uh, become a, a giver and, and not just begrudgingly or out of some kind of debt, but be a cheerful giver, realizing that your gifts go to help people. And when you do that, you're reverencing what God has asked us all to do. If you're a believer, he's asked us to take care of the poor, to give shelter to the homeless, to reach out to those who are in need. And you can do all of that when you join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes in the work of Operation Blessing to help people. When disasters strike, we want to strike back with love and compassion. We want to provide free surgeries. We want to provide clean water. We also want to provide the gospel so that people can know the good news uh, that they can spend eternity with Jesus. And you make all of that possible when you join the 700 Club. So call us now, 1-800-759-0700. We're asking you to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank does all the work. There's no checks to write. We say so much on the processing we can send as our gift to you, Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Well, when Cynthia lost her job, she was out of work for seven months. In all that time, she never missed a car payment or a mortgage payment. Here's how she did it. I wasn't in control of my money. My money was in control of me because I would see something, I'd go get it. And I worked hard for it. And those voices tell you that you deserve it. That's the mindset Cynthia Horton adopted as a young career woman. I would change cars every two years because that's what I thought we were supposed to do. Uh, just went on spending sprees because I had money to do so. Eventually, most of her money went to paying bills and creditors. I mean, I remember I'd have to spend a lot of time writing everything down, every, every penny that I was going to spend. Uh, if anything came in $2 over, I was, I was going to be in a bind. She started watching the 700 Club. I started hearing these principles that were very foreign to me about, you know, give and it shall be given unto you. Cynthia decided to become a CBN partner. I remember writing that first check. It was, you know, angels. I thought angels were going to be singing it because it was such a huge, it was a huge step for me. Cynthia still didn't have a handle on spending though, and her debt grew to $30,000. As long as you can pay that monthly payment, life is good. And uh, it wasn't good because that wasn't the way to live. Then she lost her job. Cynthia says she had to depend solely on God which wasn't always easy. It was very stressful for me, especially one time in particular, I remember pacing back and forth and I said, you know, God, I need your help. My mortgage payment is drafting the next day. I had $1.87 in the bank. That day, she received a pre-approved loan offer for $6,000 at a whopping 27% interest. Cynthia admits she was tempted. And I'm thinking, this is a quick answer to my problem. God said, it might be a quick answer, but it's not your answer. In a permanent marker, I wrote void on that check. And I can't tell you to this day how that mortgage payment drafted the next day. And even though money was tight, she believes God told her to keep giving. His specific instruction was to continue giving the same amount as when I had a job. During seven months of unemployment, I never missed a house payment. I never missed a car payment. God was faithful. Cynthia landed a job and says God started showing her ways to pay off her debt. One of them was to give more. He asked me to, to double my giving to CBN. 
I said, double my gift. I mean, 20 was a stretch. Now 40 was, wow. Cynthia increased her giving. In time, she paid off all of her debt and is still debt free. She's also a member of CBN's Chairman's Circle. Cynthia says she has an understanding of giving and faith she never had before. My philosophy of giving was, you know, God, God gets 10%, 90% is mine. My philosophy now is that it's all His. I cannot go wrong having everything I own in His hands. He gave it to me anyway. And that's one of the principles that I learned is that when I give it to God, He's going to do so much more with it than I could ever imagine. And then He, he blesses me back along the way. Here's the promise from Jesus. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Cynthia learned that. We call it here the law of reciprocity, where it's, it's, it's like one of Newton's law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And for, for it to work, you've got to put it into motion. You have to give, and then it will be given unto you. The world says, wait until you have enough money, then you can give. But that's not God's principle. God's principle is give, and then it will be given unto you. Cynthia learned that the hard way, and her story is to encourage you that the same thing can happen to you if you just trust God with your finances. So, what are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you, and you take part in everything we're doing around the world. You take part in medical missions in India. You take part in cleft palate surgeries in Indonesia. You take part of preaching the gospel throughout Latin America, throughout Africa. It's all made possible because people like you care enough to give. So if you want to, now's the time to do it. 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Now it is definitely the time. Well, we've all heard this line from the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. But what does that really mean? Is the Lord just talking about food? Well, Gordon answers that question and so much more in his new teaching, Our Father. The children's bread includes healing. It includes deliverance. It includes, it's an all-encompassing word. It's more than just physical bread that you eat for sustenance. It's everything you need for salvation, everything you need for healing, everything you need for righteousness, peace, and joy. So as you pray it, give us this day our daily bread. Start thinking of a much larger spectrum of things that you can ask for. And if it's related to righteousness, peace, and joy, if it's related to healing, if it's related to deliverance, it's yours to claim as the children's bread. Isn't that so rich? You know, I've been praying the Lord's Prayer my entire life. You probably have too, and never really understood how much is in there. Well, Gordon breaks it down phrase by phrase and really brings it out for you. It's all in here. Our Father, keys to the Lord's Prayer. His prayer can change your life. We want you to have this. How do you get it? Just go to your phones, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com and say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? Just 65 cents a day. Can you believe that? 65 cents a day, $20 a month to change the world. Now, you're already a partner. I want to say thank you so much. We can't do it without you, but I want to challenge you. Why not take it to the next level? $40 a month. A lot of us can do that. Just $40 a month puts you at our 700 Club Gold level. And we're going to say thank you by sending you three DVDs. Gordon's latest teaching, Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer. One for you, two to give away. Maybe you can do a little bit more. A lot of us can. $84 a month. That's our 1,000 Club level or even higher. We're going to really bless you. We're going to send you five of these because we know these are going to bless not only you, but your family and friends and we want you to have plenty to, to give away. So give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. Just a reminder, we're in the middle of a $50,000 challenge right now with just 14 minutes left on the clock. So this is the time to go to your phones. Our counselors are standing by right now. They want to talk to you. So don't hesitate. Go to your phones now. Terry? 
Thanks, Wendy. Well, natural disasters, they're all around us. You can't turn the news on without hearing about the latest. When that happens, Operation Blessing is there to make a difference. You know, over the past seven months, more than 4,200 volunteers have joined Operation Blessing to help survivors of Superstorm Sandy. People like Bert and Jean Matz, an elderly couple with no money to rebuild the home they lost. Bert and Jean Metz tried to salvage what little they could after Hurricane Sandy ripped through their home in Breezy Point, New York. Well, here it came up to there. They were also in the middle of adding a room to their small house when the storm hit. The plasterboard, the flooring warped, an area rotted out. There was nothing that was left in there. Everything was thrown out, everything. The Metzes, both in their 80s, spent their savings on the addition and couldn't afford the costly repairs to their home. Jody Geddes of Operation Blessing remembers meeting the family. When we met Gene and Bert, we knew this was a family and a couple that we needed to help. So when we saw everything they went through and the inspiration they are to their entire community, it was an inspiration to us. Operation Blessing volunteers worked tirelessly. The Metzes thought they were just gutting their house. But when the couple came home three weeks later, they were in for a big surprise. Oh, Jody, it's so gorgeous. When she opened the doors and we saw the rest of the house, it was almost more than your heart could take. I mean, you just didn't know how to deal with it. Emotionally, in gratefulness, in appreciation to all the people that did the work. When I walked in this afternoon, I really didn't believe that it was my house. Whoa, it's beautiful. You wonder where it all came from and who would do such a thing. Unbelievable, really unbelievable. With your support, Operation Blessing will continue helping people like the Metzes around the world in times of disaster. Anybody that has donated to Operation Blessing or can continue to donate to make people's lives feel more blessed. How wonderful, and how wonderful that all these volunteers do the work gratis and have a smile on their face and love in their heart. You know, it's a wonderful opportunity, isn't it? As we watch our fellow Americans that are victims of some of these natural disasters, something rises up in you that says, I, I wish I could do something to help. Well, you can, because you can be a part of what Operation Blessing is doing. Every time there's a, national, a natural disaster, you will see them there. And we want to invite you to be a part of that. When you give to the 700 Club, a portion of every gift you give goes into the work of Operation Blessing. So it's literally like you're there with them helping fellow Americans who are in a time of need. And we, you know, we're known for that. We're known for standing together, for being family, for reaching out, for helping and making a difference. Join with us right now, won't you? 1-800-759-0700 is our number. If you'll just call and say, I want to join the 700 Club, you'll be joining thousands of people who are out to touch the world and make a difference with their giving. And when you call, would you say, I want to do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. You don't have to have stamps, envelopes. You don't have to remember to mail anything. It's all done for you. It saves us some processing costs. And so we're able to put even more of your gift into the need of people like Bert and Jean and thousands of others like them who are in need at the moment. Our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You're going to get one of these every month. We think it will touch your life and bless you even as you are touching and blessing others. So please call now, 1-800-759-0700. Gordon? All right, I've got some great news. Some CBN partners say 50000 on a challenge isn't enough. They want to add another 100000 yes. to it. Take it to the end of the hour. So let's pray over this. Lord, we just ask for blessing over all of those who are giving and those who have made it possible to increase, to triple this challenge. We just pray for open heaven over them, windows opened in heaven, pouring out blessing they cannot contain. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You heard it, 150,000 on the challenge, 23 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. We need to hear from you. We're asking you to join with us, to join in everything we're doing around the world. 
uh, and, and just realize a portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. Another portion goes into the work of CBN International to preach the gospel around the world. You become part of everything we do when you join the 700 Club. Well, you're also helping us provide food, shelter, and medical care for people all over the world. People like a little girl named Wen Yu in China. Today, she's happy, healthy, and she loves to play with her friends. Not long ago, her parents were worried that she wouldn't live to see her seventh birthday. Six-year-old Wen Yu just wanted what all the other kids had, some friends. But she was slower and smaller than everyone else. And the harder she tried to make friends, the more she got rejected. I remember one day when my sister was in gym class. She was running and trying to keep up with her classmates. But she fell down, and everybody laughed at her. Sometimes I even saw other kids pushing her down. It made me so sad. Wen Yu was born with a hole in her heart and a weak immune system. Her parents were poor and did everything they could to treat their daughter's condition. I worked early in the morning and till after dark, all to help my little girl. I wanted her to be healthy and have a comfortable life, more than anything else in the world. But Mr. Fawn only made $150 per month. That covered Wen Yu's medicine, which was helpful at first. But soon the medicine started eating away at the little girl's sensitive stomach. Then temperatures dropped below zero, and Wen Yu got pneumonia. I will never forget the way she looked. Her face was burning red, and she couldn't breathe. I was so afraid that I was going to lose my sister. I wished that somehow I could just take her pain on myself. The whole family knew that Wen Yu's only hope was a heart surgery that they couldn't afford. Then they heard about CBN. It was like I was a thirsty man who had just found a will. I told myself that I would do anything for their help, but I didn't have to do anything. CBN called me and told me they had already arranged for surgery for Wen Yue. I thought I was dreaming. The surgery was a success. Today, Wen Yu's heart and immune system are strong. When I saw the smile on my daughter's face for the first time, my withered heart came back to life. I love to watch her run and jump. You saved Wen Yue and you saved my family too. If you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. You're responsible for transforming that little girl's life, for transforming her whole family. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. It's real simple. Pick up the phone, give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you join with tens of thousands of people that say they want to make a difference in the world today. So if that's you, call us right now, or you can log on to CBN.com. When you give monthly on the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving. The bank does all the work. No checks to write, nothing to mail in. And we save so much on the processing we can send as our gift to you, Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like that, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just log on to CBN.com. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, when Jesus' disciples asked him how to pray, he gave them an answer that became the most famous prayer in history. In this new DVD, Our Father, Gordon takes you through the Lord's Prayer, phrase by phrase, and here's what one viewer had to say about this dynamic new teaching. I just started surfing five years ago. We actually said the, the Lord's Prayer when we got in the water the other day, and that's something I do. I watched our father recently, and I loved it. Gordon's teaching of the Lord's Prayer stood out. He's actually showing everybody, or he's teaching the steps to, to communicate with God. God wants us to be happy. He wants us to enjoy life. He's our Father, and He loves us. I went surfing once, and I was definitely praying the Lord's Prayer, especially the part, Lord, deliver me from all evil, the evil sharks, that is. 
All sharks aren't evil, but you know what I mean. Well, we want you to have this. It's our gift to you. Our Father, keys to the Lord's Prayer. Learn how to pray the way Jesus prayed. It's the way he told his disciples when they asked, Lord, how should we pray? This is how Jesus said we should pray. So shouldn't we really learn how how to do that. Well, we want you to have it. It's our gift to you. When you call, call right now, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com. We are in the middle of a challenge. Let's put that number up, $150,000 with just 17 minutes and 56 seconds left on the clock. So if you go to your phones right now, every dollar that you pledge will be matched dollar for dollar. Now, if you're already a 700 Club partner, thank you so much. We are so appreciative of you standing with us to help spread the gospel around the world. But now, if you can go a little bit higher, a lot of us can, $40 a month, we're going to bless you. We're going to send you three DVDs, one for you, two to give away. And then maybe you can do more, $84 a month or 1,000 club level or even higher. A lot of us can do more than that. We're going to bless you with five DVDs. So we need you to go to your phones right now. Gordon? Well, last fall, Corey Carter started, started college with a part-time job in a car that was older than he was. When it died, he didn't have a lot of money to spend on a new one. But Corey found a way to get the car he wanted at half the price. 18-year-old Corey Carter has been learning a lot of things his first year of college, but what he's learned about managing his money came from watching the 700 Club. I would watch it every morning. Gordon was talking about tithing and God gives it back to you when you tithe. And then one day I just felt like, you know, God was moving me to join. Corey wasn't sure about making the commitment to tithe, especially since his hours have been cut at the grocery store where he works. He became a 700 Club partner anyway. I gave my first check, and then I walk in, and I look at my schedule, and I was like, huh, that's a little strange. I'm back up to 28 hours. Corey also needed a new car, because his old one was ready for the junk pile. It looked hideous. It was ugly as sin. I just wanted a Ford Ranger that was blue. I was looking on Craigslist or any of those online sites, and they were all like $8,000, $7,000. Corey enlisted his uncle to help him. I got that phone call one day and he said, I have a blue Ford Ranger here. It's standard, two wheel drive. And I was like, you know, I'll take it. How much is it? It must be like at least six or $7,000. She's like, I just talked him down to three grand. Corey believes God provided through his faithful giving. Tithing, you get rewards for it and you get blessings for it. And it's not just straight cash. I think he does it in other ways. And I think that I only got that vehicle because I started tithing, took that risk. Corey says he especially loves giving to CBN. If you want someone to really make a difference, if you want your money really to go somewhere, you give it to CBN and they show you where it goes. You know, they have Orphan's Promise. And they just, they go into any country that needs help. You know, they roll the trucks in, they don't care what it takes, and they help people. Corey still tithes faithfully and he's confident that God will continue to provide. When I talk to people about it, I always tell them that, you know, it's gonna be given back to you. You shouldn't tithe just to get stuff back. You should joyfully give, but just don't think that you're throwing your money out the window because you will be blessed for it. He keeps his promises. He's done it for me, he can do it for anybody. I love the wisdom in young Corey. Here he is just starting out life and he already has the fundamental principles of how to succeed. And you can do the same thing because God is no respecter of persons and he'll take you at whatever time you want to start. So if you want to start a life of generosity, a life of giving, a life of charity, you can do it right now by just picking up the phone and calling us. 1-800-759-0700 to say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you join with tens of thousands of people just like Corey that say, yes, I want to make a difference. I want to help people around the world. If that's you, call us right now. Terry? Every day, CBN's Orphan's Promise provides safe homes for thousands of children around the world, like these two brothers from Vietnam. At the ages of four and one, they had to beg for food on the side of the road. Loam was four years old and Vaughn was one when their parents abandoned them near their home in Vietnam. We were so hungry. I carried my brother to my aunt's house to ask for food, but she didn't let us in. The brothers sat next to the street, hoping that someone would see them and help them. 
Vaughn was crying so hard because he was starving. I couldn't do anything to help him. Another aunt found them and took them in, but over time she wasn't able to provide for them either. There was a time when we didn't have food to eat for two days. My stomach hurt a lot. Eventually, the brothers came to live here, at this Christian home supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. The food here is so good, and we get to eat three times a day. On our first day here, they also gave us clothes and new towel. In addition to food and shelter, the boys are also experiencing love. Today, Loam and Vaughn are healthy and active boys. They both do well in school and enjoy playing with their friends. I want to thank the people who care for us and help us. And I see the end. They're precious, aren't they? There are thousands of children like Loam and Vaughn who don't have families to belong to, who are not safe, who are not eating regularly, and who have no opportunity for education. When you join the 700 Club, you help Orphans Promise reach out to meet the needs of those children in over 50 countries around the world. Be a part of that. You really can make a difference. And you do it today by calling and joining the 700 Club. Most of you know that a general 700 Club membership is 65 cents a day, $20 a month. But maybe you'd like to go up to 700 Club Gold. We'd encourage you today to consider raising your club level. If you're already a 700 Club Gold member, go up to the 1000 Club. That's $84 a month. Breaks down to $21 a week. A lot of us can do that. Join the 2500 Club at $209 a month. We have founders who join us at $417 a month. Then we even have something we call the Chairman's Circle. These are folks who have the capacity to give $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you to do and then give. Give with the satisfaction of knowing you're making a difference. Give with the expectancy of knowing that God will hold true in his promises to you to bless you when you care about the needs of others. Call now. Gordon? What would make a Buddhist monk and his entire family convert to Christianity? Well, it all started with a little girl who couldn't walk and a mother who prayed for healing. Ayushima was born with cerebral palsy. At two and a half years old, she was barely able to roll over. Living in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia, there was little her family could do for her. When Aishma was just a baby, I took her everywhere to try to get help, to Buddhist monks and hospitals. She was diagnosed incorrectly, and life seemed so hopeless when I thought of her future. About that time, a team of doctors from an organization called Reaching the Light traveled 12 hours by train from the capital city to their remote town. Ayushima was told she could receive free therapy at their developmental center, which is supported by Orphan's Promise. The program consists of therapy at the center, teaching them exercises, and follow-up visits at the center. But the most special part of the program is that every session focuses on Jesus Christ. So each time Ayushima and her mother, Shirnay, came to the center, the staff prayed for them. It was the first time they ever heard about Jesus. I had no idea about God, but I cried out, Are you real? Are you real? If you are real, please heal my daughter. And then did you begin to see Aishima improve? Oh, yes. It was really amazing. For the next several years, Ayushima prayed to God every day before therapy, and Shirnay read a Bible that the staff had given her. When they were in the city, they attended a church near the center. Even though her father was a Buddhist monk, Shirnay threw her Buddhist idols in the fire. After I received Jesus as my Lord, everything became peaceful, and I really loved to share the gospel. As Shirnay grew in her faith, she started a Bible study. So far, 30 people have given their lives to Christ. One of them even started a home church in another village. Sometimes people will say, she is the daughter of a monk. How can she share about Jesus to others? But that does not matter to me. I know he is real and I will just keep following him. Because of this outreach, Shirnay's father became a Christian, as well as her husband, her mother, and four of her five sisters. And because of your help and God's grace, 
Ayushima, who once couldn't sit up on her own, is now walking. These are her first steps to a brighter future and a wonderful journey with Jesus Christ. For a member of the 700 Club, thank you, because you're part of that. You're part of everything we're doing around the world. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing. All you have to do is call us, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. It's only $20 a month, 65 cents a day. And you join with people that say, we want to make a difference. We want to help people around the world. When you call, ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving, and the bank does all the work. There are no checks to write. And we save so much on the processing, we can send Power for Life to you, monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Thanks, Gordon. Well, we've all heard the Lord's Prayer, and many of us have prayed it, but do you know the meaning behind the words, and what's the key to releasing the power of this prayer in your life? Gordon explains all that and much more in his latest DVD, Our Father. He healed the sick, walked on water, and rebuked the storm. Jesus performed miracles that changed the world, and he shared the secret to that power with you and me. Gordon Robertson, in his latest DVD, Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, takes you on a journey from King David's palace to the Sea of Galilee, revealing the mystery and the meaning of the greatest prayer of all time. You'll discover a deeper relationship with God, what it means to overcome evil, how to pray in the power of the kingdom, and the life-changing purpose God has for you. As a special bonus, you'll see a tour of some of Israel's most important sites and learn the amazing discoveries that are being uncovered today. Learn how to pray the way Jesus prayed and release the power of God's kingdom in your life. Get Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, available now. You know, it's so fascinating to learn something new, especially something that could really change your life. And after watching Gordon's teaching, I know that I will never pray the Lord's Prayer the same way again. We want you to discover the power that can be unlocked in your life through the Lord's Prayer. How do you get this? You just go to your phones right now, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com and say, yes, I want to be a partner with the 700 Club. I want to make a difference for the kingdom, for eternity, for forever. And it's just 65 cents a day, $20 a month to do that. Now, if you're already a partner and you've been watching all week, thank you so much. We can't do it without you. But I'd like to challenge you to take it up to the next level, $40 a month. That's our 700 Club Gold level. We, are, we really want to bless you if you go there with three of these, one for you, two to give away to friends and family, and maybe you can do more, $84 a month. That's our 1,000 Club level. Now that just breaks down about $21 a week, or $21 a week, I should say, not about. And so that's really not that much if you think about it. So a lot of us can do that, or even more, we're gonna bless you with five DVDs. These really will change your life. We're in the middle of a challenge right now. Let's take a look at that number, $150,000, with just five minutes left on the clock. If you go to your phones right now, every dollar that you pledge will be matched dollar for dollar. So if you've been watching all week, this is the last day of our May Telethon. Please go to your phones right now. Terry? Well, five-year-old Michael loves to play soccer, but just a year ago, his parents thought he would be crippled for life. Michael's parents aren't sure how their son contracted tuberculosis, but instead of it attacking his lungs, it settled in the femur bone of his left leg. Michael's parents worried when his leg didn't get any better. The swelling got even bigger. It even affected the way he walked. Eventually, the leg became so painful that Michael refused to walk on it. And since Yoel makes only $120 a month as a security guard, the couple had to borrow money just to take their son to the hospital. Once there, the doctor said Michael needed surgery to remove the infection and follow-up medicines to treat the TB. My first thought was, how can we afford this? My heart broke when the doctor told me he had TB in his leg bone. I said, bring healing for our son, Lord. When CBN found out about Michael, we set up the free surgery to remove the abscess from his thigh. Then we provided the family with six months of powerful antibiotics to kill the TB bacteria. When we went back to visit Michael, we learned that the doctor had given him a clean bill of health. The youngster is now enrolled in kindergarten. 
To celebrate the good news, we gave Michael one other small gift, his own soccer ball. Michael used to limp whenever he walked. Now he can walk perfectly. Our prayers are answered and my son is healed thanks to you. I'm happy to get the ball. Now I can play with my friends. Thank you, CBN. The ball was the gift that made his eyes light up. I've seen that happen in the eyes of so many boys and girls around the world when we present them with soccer balls. But it was the surgery that changed his life. His parents could never have afforded that. You came in the middle of a hopeless situation and you provided an answer. This little boy is going to grow up healthy and strong and he's going to grow up to become all that he was created to be. We say thank you. Thank you for caring about folks who don't have the same ability Ability that you and I do to solve their needs, their day-to-day, -day, everyday needs. You're making that kind of a difference and you're doing it in countries all around the world. So partner with us, won't you join now? Do what Wendy said, if you're already one club level, go up to the next club level. It's more families, more individuals that we can help when you say yes. 1-800-759-0700. In Eastern India, a young girl dreamed of going to school, but with a failing farm, her family couldn't afford to pay her tuition until they got some extra help from CBN India. Blessy never knew her parents. Her father left her mother when she was pregnant. Six months after Blessy was born, her mother also abandoned her. Blessy's grandparents tried their best to provide for her, but they struggled to farm their land with old equipment. We were doing all that we could, but it was very hard to take care of Blessy on our income. I love to study, but I couldn't go to school because my grandparents couldn't pay for it. Blessy and her grandparents asked their Hindu gods for help, but nothing changed. Then a pastor visited their home and told Blessy's grandparents about CBN's free after-school program called Vita Jyoti. Her grandparents knew it was Christian, but more than anything, they wanted Blessy to get a good education. When I got there, they gave me all my school supplies. They also paid for my tuition fees so I could go back to school. And every morning, they gave me breakfast. I'm so happy that I can study again. At Vita Jyoti, Blessy was helped with her homework. She also enjoyed singing, dancing, and most importantly, learning about a father who would never leave her. I learned that God is our Father in heaven. And when my family and I went to church, we all accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We also gave Blessy's family everything they needed to earn more money. The Sabians saw how hard we worked. So they gave us new farming tools and equipment. They also gave us goats. We can breed them and sell them to save for Blessy's high school. CBN has showed us so much love. CBN has not only given me school books, a bag, uniform and tuition fees. They also gave my grandparents what they needed most to take care of our family. And we now know the one true God and we enjoy going to church. Thank you so much. Well, it's been a wonderful day. We had 150,000 on the challenge, and against that, you gave yes. 176. You. We leave you today with these words from 1 Corinthians. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. We'll see you again. He healed the sick walked on water and rebuked the storm. Jesus performed miracles that changed the world and he shared the secret to that power with you and me. Gordon Robertson in his latest DVD, Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, takes you on a journey from King David's palace to the Sea of Galilee, revealing the mystery and the meaning of the greatest prayer of all time. You'll discover a deeper relationship with God what it means to overcome evil, how to pray in the power of the kingdom, and the life-changing purpose God has for you. As a special bonus, you'll see a tour of some of Israel's most important sites and learn the amazing discoveries that are being uncovered today. Learn how to pray the way Jesus prayed and release the power of God's kingdom in your life.
Get Our Father, Keys to the Lord's Prayer, available now. I just started surfing five years ago. We actually said the, the Lord's Prayer when we got in the water the other day, and that's something I do. I watched Our Father recently, and I loved it. Gordon's teaching of the Lord's Prayer stood out. He's actually showing everybody, or he's teaching the steps to, to communicate with God. God wants us to be happy. He wants us to enjoy life. He's our Father, and He loves us.